Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Today I'm going to be working on this little project here, things I'm digging out of my stash here and getting done finally. Um, I'm going to be using one of these charger plates that I got at the Dollar Tree. Actually, I'm going to be using two of these, but I just have the one here now. And I'm going to be using some of the nautical rope and these really cute wall stickers that I got at Dollar Tree, oh, quite a while ago. I don't even remember when I got these. Probably last month or, no, maybe not even last month, but it's been a while. And it has these really pretty uh, mermaids on them and all kinds of little sea creatures and things. And I really love these two. I love the colors in these two. So those are the ones I'm going to be using on here. And hopefully I can get some of these guys to fit in there too how I want to do this. So we'll see. And let's see, what else am I using? I have some of the smaller jute string that I'm going to hook on the back of these so we can hang these up on the wall. And then I'm going to paint the center of these with this pretty um, Cascade Blue, it's called. It's the Home Decor Folk Art Chalk Paint. Um, I really love this stuff, so I'm going to give that two coats just in the center here. And then we're going to line it with some of the nautical rope in here and on the outside, kind of give it more of a beachy theme or maybe like a porthole look if you're looking out of a ship into the ocean there and you happen to see a mermaid go by. So that's what I'm going to be doing with these. And looking forward to more of the summery decor in the house. It's really cold and yucky today. It's supposed to clear up. The sun was out for a minute but it's gone already. And I already got paint on my finger. So anyway, let me pour some of this here in my bowl. And I need to find something to wipe my fingers off. There we go. <clears throat> and I'm just going to take one of these sponge brushes. These are from the Dollar Tree, too. And I'm just going to go around and give this a couple of really good coats of this pretty blue chalk paint. You could, I'm sure you could use like an acrylic paint, whatever you have. It doesn't have to be the chalk paint. But I thought this color just matched in the backgrounds of some of these little mermaids with their tails and things. So I'm just going to start here in the center, and this is all I did. I already finished one so we can kind of get started on them. But I'm just going to go around here, and I don't want to get it up on the edge here because that's where I'm going to be putting the nautical rope, so I don't want it to show on top, which of course I probably will get some up where I don't want it because that's just how I do it. <laughs> but anyway, all I do is just roll this around here. It was real easy to paint. And, you know, this has a lot of grooves in it. It really, these are really cool plates. I really like these. You know, they're, it's, it feels like, you know, the grain of the wood and stuff. So you kind of, it's easier just to do it with the sponge brush because it gets all down in there. All right, so that's the one coat. So I'm going to put this one aside in my paint here for a minute so I can go over that again when it dries. And then once you get the second coat on, it kind of looks like this. And I want my plate to go this way when it's done because I love these little um, wood grain features that are on here. Let me set my paint over here for a second. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this nautical rope. Let me get that open here. There we go. And get my little piece of tape off of here. And I always like to put a little bit of hot glue just in the ends of these to um, hold the ends together so they don't start to untwist. Oh, come on now. Of course, if I wasn't doing this on camera, it would come right off. I don't really want to cut it. There we go. So, I'm just going to take some of my hot glue here and just put a little bit down here in these ends. And not a lot, because you don't want to burn your fingers off. So it'll cool down for a second here, and then just kind of twist it. And then after you twist it and you have them all stuck together, you can kind of cut this off and make a nice straight edge on it. There. So now that won't untwist on me. So I think I'm going to start these down on the bottom. And this has stuff that has all kinds of little twiggy things in it. So, 
I am just going to, let's see, let's just get this started here. I won't make you watch me do all of these like this because you guys will get the hang of it. So I just want it on the edge of that like so. And see I did get a little paint there. But this is a real easy project and I think it's going to look really cute. This would be great. I mean you could use any kind of wall stickers. It doesn't even have to be the mermaid. You could do something else. Maybe some flowers and maybe put some you know, like colored ribbon around the edges instead of the nautical rope. If you don't want to do this kind of thing. We'll give it a nice summery look to it here. Now that I put all my Easter stuff away, everything looks kind of blah again, kind of like after you take down your Christmas decorations, everything just looks so plain and blah. Just finish this part here and I'll show you what I'm going to do on the edge and then I'll finish it up off camera so you guys don't have to watch all that. All right, let's see, let's cut this off. Yeah, it should fit good there. All right, now let me glue my end here. the right direction. That's good. I just need to cut off that really long piece. All right. Hopefully I didn't make that too short. There we go. That'll be good right there. Okay. And stick together nice. Oh, and I hear my one bird out there going crazy. She's like my alarm system. If anybody's outside, or if there's, you know, like a scary piece of paper blowing down the street, she will let me know. Somebody comes to the door, I know it before anything, even before my dogs see it. She kind of lets us know what's going on. All right, so and that will be what the center will look like, and then we're going to put our cute little images in there. So now for the outside, I was going to kind of put it up on top of the rim, but I want to use some of these little shells and things, and if I put it up here, I don't think they're all going to fit. So I'm going to try to get it right on the edge here, which is probably going to be a little bit of a task, but... I think it'll look better that way. All right, so let me get this end closed up. I'm just going to get this started and then get my other coat on my other plate there. And then we can come back and decorate these and put on our hanger. All right. Glue webs are attacking me. So I'm just going to put this right on the outer edge, just so it's just on the very edge. Because if I put it up here, it's not going to leave me enough room for some of these cute little things I want to put on here. So let's see how we're going to do this. Actually, to get it started, I think I'm just going to put it on the nautical rope. Because I'm just not that coordinated. There we go. Let that dry for a second. Just going to try to get this on the edge here. But that is right where I want this. And luckily this will peel off of here if I get glue on there. Let's see, I'm just going to put it right on the outer edge. All the way around just like that. So let me go ahead and I'll finish gluing this on. 
and then we can come back and start to decorate these. All right, I got all my rope on here. I just cut these out just to see how I wanted to fit these in here. Um, I haven't peeled them off yet, but I just wanted to make sure I had room because I wanted both of these in here. And then I think I decided I want to use some of these little um, pearls. Well, they're calling them jewels, but they're a little, like a cream-colored pearl sticker from the Dollar Tree. And just maybe add a few of them in there like for bubbles or something because it just seems like it's going to need a little something else. And I may put like a little starfish down here too. I'm not sure. But we'll see here as we get going. So let's get our mermaid on. And I also wish that these didn't have a white outline to them, but they do. And I think they'll look just as cute. So I want to get her all the way over on this side here. I'll get this out of the way. And I want to, because these kind of have like their little matching buddies with them, like that one has like the little seahorse unicorn, and it matches her little fins and things. So I wanted to try to put their little matching guys with them. And I think they're going to be swimming up like this too. Mm, let's see. Actually, I think I might want it right down there because then I can add a little starfish down here and then put our little bubbles up here and I think that will look cute. I think this would be great for a little girl's room or even the bathroom. And now let's see. Um, so many cute things on here. Maybe I could, no, I don't think I want a shell there. Maybe we'll just stick a little, a little starfish down here. And then we're just going to add some little bubbles. You could even use gem stickers like the crystal looking gem stickers if you wanted to. I thought this would just give it a little something. Try to make it look like bubbles going up here. Oops, that one's got a little bit of sticky on it. Sticking out the edge. It would probably be easier if I just cut them. Actually, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to cut down here so I don't have to worry about pulling that little end off. Because these are all connected in a strip. So if I just cut that off, I won't have to worry about it. Just like the little, maybe I shouldn't have put so many in a row there. I know, I can move them. Yeah, I don't care for that. Whoops, I just took my paint off. That's all right. We can touch that up. Yeah, I'm not crazy about these all in a row like that. I was going to try to make it look like bubbles going up, but it's just looking like a mess of little pearls. All right, let's take those off. And we'll just add a few here and there. I have to touch that up because I really don't want to put one there. Move that one over a little bit. So we'll just have a few of these little bubbles. Maybe we'll put some little bubbles down here too. Why not? Can do what you want. I just think that adds a little bit to it. It was just too plain in there. Unless you have some other stickers that you want to use. Um, just 
play around with it. All right, that is all these little guys I'm going to put on here. So I think that is cute. I'm going to just be swimming up. i got to get all my glue webs off here yet. But I just want to show you how I'm going to put the, uh, and i got to touch that up, uh, back on. So what I need to do is figure out where exactly I want this to hang. I want it to hang like this. So it is pretty well even to the bottom. So I cut a piece of this of the thinner jute string from the Dollar Tree. I just cut like a five inch piece and I put a little knot on each end just to you know give it a little extra hold with the hot glue. And then I'm just going to glue it here. This way it gives you a little bit of uh, wiggle room when you hang it up so you can you know straighten it or whatever. Get my little hot glue protector here on. And I'm just going to put some over top of it to make sure it holds really good. And these aren't real heavy, so you don't have to worry about that. I think this will hold it just fine. And let's see. I guess right about there we go. Let me just glue it down. And then you'll have this wiggle room here so you can get it to hang straight. And I just like to put a lot right over top of it, give it a nice good hold. Alright, so that's how we're going to put the hangers on. So I'm going to set this one aside to cool off and grab our other plate here. There we go. So we can add our other stickers. Get this finger off here. And this one I want to do with this pretty little mermaid. I just love it. I love all the shells and things in her hair. Well, let's see. I think she can go over a little more, not quite as far to the edge. set her right there for a second. Make sure we have room for this guy over here. Yes, okay. So that's good right there. And then we can add her little seahorse friend. And then all we need to do is put some more bubbles on here. Oh, I do want to put more on the outside of that one. I'll do it on this one, then I'll finish up the other one. So you guys don't have to hang out too, too long here. All right, let me just cut some of these bubbles off. All right, so I'm just going to add some of these little pearls in here. These are going on a little bit better now that I kind of know what I'm doing. And a couple down here. So they're just making bubbles. <laughs> and maybe a couple over here. I may add a couple more to the other one too. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I like that. I think that looks cute with the bubbles. this one too. There we go. So there's that little mermaid. So now I'm going to take some of these other things here. I like these shells and things. I thought these would look cute on the edge. We have this cute little shell here. Put a shell down at the bottom and one up at the top. I think I'll just add some of these little stars. Let's see, I'm not going to push it all the way down yet because I don't know exactly. Oh, that's pretty good.
All right. So that is done. That is all I am going to do with this. Make sure these are going to stick down. If not, I'm going to have to add a little glue underneath. But I've never used these ones with the white background before. I usually get the ones that have the clear background, and I didn't realize that these were like this, but I still think it's going to be adorable. All right. So I just have to add on the um, hanger on the back of this one, and I'm going to put a few of these stars on the other one, and we're going to hang them up and see how it looks. All right, everyone, there they are hanging on the wall. I think they came out really cute. I still wish they didn't have that white background on them. I did not realize that when I got them. But, I mean, you could take the time and really trim around it if you wanted to. But I think it looks fine just the way it is. Um, these would be adorable for a little girl's room or, you know, if you have a pool changing area or whatever, you it would be nice and cute to put in there, too, or in a bathroom, anywhere, really. And like I said, you could use any kind of sticker and they have so many different colors and things of these charger plates that you could pretty much do anything with them. But that was my little project for today. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you all next time. Have a great day, everyone.